I tend to run a lot of large language models of various sizes on my local system in various Linux flavors. One of my favorite Linux flavors to run large language models is Ubuntu. This Ubuntu system which you can see on your screen is 22.04 with code name Jemmy. I have one GPU card of 16 GPU of VRAM and my memory is 32 GPU of memory. Now I am asked a lot of times as how do I monitor my memory and CPU usage while using these large language models locally. So in this video I am going to introduce you to two tools which I regularly use in terms of monitoring my resources at the local system. The first tool is related to more like a proprietary tool it is related to nvidia gpu card because that is what most of the people are using and that is what i also use now before i uh, show you that tool let me also fire up a local large language models with the help of olama if you're not aware of what olama is i i have done various videos on olama so i have olama 0.1.28 installed let me run a smaller fire model which is um, a very small very performant model okay so you can see that my model is uh, running i can just ask few questions what is uh, capital of australia and it is telling giving me the answers very quickly and very nicely okay so the model is now running in the background and i'm chatting with it let me take you to my another screen where uh, I will keep the model running here and on the other screen I am going to show you both the tools. Okay, so the first tool which I wanted to show you, let me make my screen a slightly bigger. Okay, that tool is NVIDIA-SMI. Now, let me fit that output into the screen. Now, this looks much better. So, this is the output of this NVIDIA-SMI uh, command which is um, related to our NVIDIA GPU card if you are using any other manufacturer's GPU then this might not work and for that I have another command which is my preferred one by the way I will show you uh, shortly but let's go through with this output so NVIDIA-SMI is SMI stands for System Management Interface NVIDIA is the name of the company and this provides detailed information about the NVIDIA's GPU installed on the system including the status, usage and environment if you start from the top we have date and time so this shows when this command was run then we have NVIDIA SMI's version which currently is 535.161.07 and then we have driver version this is a version of the nvidia driver installed on my system which is again 5351610 then i have cuda version which indicates a version of cuda cuda is nvidia's parallel computing platform and programming model then we have gpu0 nvidia 810g this is a gpu detected by the system and it is nvidia 810g on my local system which is designed for various workloads including ai data analytics and high performance computing a stands for ampere and this is the architecture of this there are various classes in that on in various generation and i have a separate video dedicated to all the all the nvidia gpu card types now then we have this persistent persistence m which is off that indicates that persistent mode is disabled persistence mode when enabled keeps the gpu initialized even when not in use to reduce latency when a new task starts then we have bus id this is a pci location of gpu this information is useful for identifying the physical or logical location of the gpu in the system now disp a of that this one uh, this indicates that there is no display attached to this gpu because i'm just using it on cli then i have this volatile uncore ecc here that shows that error correcting code or ecc memory errors are not reported or not applicable then i have this uh, fan zero which primarily uh, shows that um that indicates a fan speed here it might imply that you know fan speed is not controllable or is not being used which is true because i'm not using it at all 
then i have this temperature which could be you know anything uh, and this is in celsius by the way of the gpu this shouldn't be higher and then i have perf p0 that is a performance state of gpu with p0 being the highest performance state that is good now then we have pwr usage cap uh, which is 63 volt to 300 volt here and that shows the current power usage of gpu and its maximum power limit so maximum it can go up to 300 watt whereas currently it is only using 63 watt okay then i have memory usage this is quite important here now in the memory usage you can see that it shows the amount of gpu memory currently being used out of the total memory available so you can see this is the total memory and i am using only this much memory with my phi model okay and then i have the gpu utilization stuff and few other things which is uh, at the moment as you can see that it is just zero percent here which is fine now this indicates a percentage of percentage of time over the past sample period during which gpu was actively processing so if, if you start using your inference a lot then it might go up and then in the compute section we have this um, lot of processors and other stuff so this currently lists the processes using the gpu and you can see that because i'm listing uh, you're running the olama so olama is being run and this is the memory which it has been consumed that is almost similar to what we saw above now um, pid is for process id of application using the gpu as you can see here and then process name we already know that is olama and then gpu memory usage i just told you so this basically provides a snapshot of the gpu's current state including usage configuration and any processor uh, utilizing it and this command is widely used for monitoring and managing nvidia gpu resources in both development and production environment so let me ask something else from this uh, <coughs> A five model let me take you there and maybe we'll give it a bit of a hard question this time to see if it is able to uh, get it or not so let me put it there i'm just going to put take you my other screen so this is one i'm just going to ask it to explain the navier stokes equation press enter and quickly i'll go there and show you my nvidia gpu there you go you see that now it has gpu utilization has been increased earlier it was zero percent now it is 79 percent and then also the earlier the power as you can see the power was just 63 watt but as it was doing in france it is now using 151 percent of it and memory remains the same because it is already already occupying it which is fine and also temperature has gone up a little so this is how you can monitor it so this is one tool now the other tool which i wanted to show you which is like more i would say general purpose and not tied up to any of the gpu card manufacturer is btop so let's first install it let me clear my screen in order to install btop all you need to do is to do sudo snap install btop press enter it is installing it and it's already done beautiful and this is how btop looks like look how beautiful it is just type btop press enter and you, we can see this btop now btop is way simpler and easier you can see that it is again telling us about cpu memory memory preset and that a lot of other information on the um, top section it is telling us the graph of cpu so on the other screen let me go and maybe you know run another inference let me give it a bit hard question and then we will see in the real time so this is my model let me press enter and let's go back to p top so you see that on the bottom section it has showed us some of the stuff here so you can see that how cool this b top is now you can do a lot of things with it and if you go through this one there are a lot of panels for example there is a cpu panel which uh, on the right hand side that shows the number of cores c0 c1 c2 the frequency the load average and the processor name 
and it will also show you the current temperature which it is doing right now then we have memory panel on the uh, left uh, of the screen below the cpu panel it shows memory currently used available and cached and free and then uh, from there you can also see lot of other stuff it also shows you gpu and a lot of things so i would suggest that if you have nvidia gpu card which is most likely by the way uh, use that if not then go with this uh, btop this is more generic and gives you more holistic view of it and it always helps you in uh, figuring out you know your gpu and memory usage overall so these are the tools Uh, two tools now in production environment what i do is i normally use both of these nvidia dash smi and also btop in conjunction when i need to look at the overall memory cpu picture i always start with btop i just put it on the screen and use it and you can see you can even click on it once you have it then i also run nvidia dash smi and i will tell you the way i run it let me exit from here Yep, quit. Enter. How cool is that? This is the command I use: watch dash n one nvidia dash smi. So, while I run my inference in the other screen, it will keep refreshing it. It is keep showing me what I want. So, you know, you can see that I am uh, values are changing because I am running lot of inference there. And you can see that GPU usage is changing. Let me run few more so that you would be able to. see it you see that temperature is rising cpu is going up so if you want to run continuously you need to use this nvidia dash smi which is totally um, focused on this gpu side of things that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it uh, let me know what do you think and um, if you know of any other tool which you would like me to review please share it in the comments i would be highly obliged and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as that helps a lot thanks for watching